Lindor drives one deep down the right field line. It's a fair ball and gone, I think. No, yes, it is a home run. There's the official sign for the umpire at first base, Corey Blazer. Lindor just did clear the wall and right, and that'll be his 11th home run of the year. And we're back to even at two apiece. Boy, that ball looked like it might have hit the yellow line or just above it and came back. It was awfully close, but he hit it in the right spot. It was about 10 feet off the line. It'll be off, uh, you know, just over the fence. Watch the railings here. He picked out a pitch inside. And let's see, right there. Yes, hit the yeah. railing and came straight back. So if you see, five feet over. The 1-1. One, one. He drives another ball up the alley. Deep left center field. It is gone. A home run. Lindor. With a phenomenal afternoon here at the ballpark. He is four for four, two doubles, two homers. Boy, all you can say right there is wow. He is putting on a display today. I mean, now he leaves the yard to left center field. And that, you know, we were talking about that win, cutting it down. So think about how hard he hit it. It's not blowing like it was earlier, but it doesn't matter. You still got to give it a really good poke to get it out of here today. And he went up over that uh, 19 foot wall. Uh, Charlie Morton gets the start tonight. He'll try and get this thing turned around. Breaking ball called third strike. And that curveball. There's the curveball. Forget about it. Swing and a miss. Beltre goes down. Morton has struck out three in a row. Swing and a miss. The curveball's on point tonight. Strikeout nonetheless. And that's a call third strike. Visconti strikes out. Gallo struck out swinging his first time up and looking this time. Gallo doesn't agree with the call, but Morton's got some nasty break on that 2016. Swing and a miss. Odor goes down for the second time. That's now eight strikeouts. We just try and do our best to help explain some of the stories behind guys that pitch well like Charlie, Charlie Morton. Reload and go after that 79 mile an hour breaking ball. Do it again. Unbelievable. It is impressive. Seven of his ten strikeouts have been swinging. Three called third strikes. And there's a fourth called third strike for Morton. Number 11 one away from his career high. His two career highs. And tonight he gets 12 again. Nomar Mazzara goes down looking. Charlie Morton with a dozen strikeouts. I believe so. Get the swing over the top. He got him. 13 strikeouts. A new career high for Charlie Morton. Swing and a miss. He got him. Charlie Morton. 14 strikeouts. This ball hit well to center field. Sending the shields back. He is looking up. This ball is good. Carlos Correa to center field. And the Astros lead it 5 to 1 on Correa's sixth home run of the year. Get the big boys going. They might feel like they're missing out on some of the action. Bregman, a big double. And now Carlos Correa showing up with. Home run number six. And adding to that RBI total to 27 now. That's an elevated fastball up out over the plate into the power stroke of Carlos Correa, who loves hitting the ball up the middle the other way. Plenty you, of power to leave this ballpark. You could see Barnett's reaction. He knew he missed with the pitch. Line drive, center field, and it's going to be in there for a base hit. Sanchez rounding third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline. The Yankees win on a walk-off single by Neil Walker. It's a 7-6 final here in the Bronx. Neil Walker, who has struggled but coming on lately, comes up with the big hit. And the Yankees win and even the series at a game apiece. Big smiles all around as the Yankees get the winning hit here in the 11th inning. Walker's fourth career walk off winner. And he gets an early shower here at the stadium. Jumped on the first pitch to deliver Sanchez from second base. And the Yankees win this one 
by a score of seven to six. Well, the Yankees battle all the way back, and Neil Walker is going to be the hero. He's been swinging a hot bat lately. Delivers the base hit. Now the only question: Would Sanchez be able to score? And we'll take a look at his jump off the bat. Not the best. Cannon in center field. The throw is going to be airmailed, and that's going to allow Sanchez to score the winning run. And Neil Walker, the hero of the day. To center. Buxton back. Turning one way, then the other, and leaping and oh. making the catch and crashing into the wall. Byron turned one way, then the other, found the ball, caught it an instant before he crashed into the fence. Wow, that was pretty good recovery, but didn't care about that wall. He was kind of like me when I was young. Played with reckless abandonment. Don't let anybody have a hit. If I don't have any, you won't get any. Way to go, Buck. That's a nice play, nice recovery. He knew that wall was coming. He just had to bear down and take it. He went in there like a wide receiver on the slant route. And that safety is plotting with his glove. Baez with a steal. I think a delayed steal, and he saved. He got around the Anderson tag, even though the throw beat him. Houdini does it again. This is his preferred method. The Cubs don't do a lot of stealing, but this is a textbook delayed steal technique. And then oh, yeah. <laughs> a little swim move at the end. Modest lead, shuffle, shuffle, go. Trying to catch not only the catcher, but the infielder's napping too. Anderson uh, was there in plenty of time to receive the throw, so if not for that sleight of hand, he's out. Here's Matty Machado. Only Oriole not to hit in the second inning. And he goes after the first pitch, drives at center field, going back, Maddox Smith looking. Hey, goodbye, home run! He has done it again. Manny is on a home run tear. He had a couple in the ball game last night. This is number 13 on the year. Man, oh man. And I really think it's all targeting that right center field down the big part of the ballpark. It's his target area, and he hasn't missed. Beautiful swings from Machado. 13th home run already this season. And he is up there in all of the triple crown categories in the American League. 13 home runs ties him for first with Mookie Betts. The two of them with 13 each. There's another grounder to Nolan on the ground. He's going to throw from his knees and get the out. It's just Nolan being Nolan, folks. And air won't slow Nolan down from the ground to get out number three, and the Rockies still lead three to nothing. He had a 3 2 count his last time up. Swings here, hits a high, towering fly ball to left field. Joyce looks up, so can you. This one is gone. A two run home run for Aaron Judge. And it's now a six to four ball game. Well, that make the people in Linden, California happy. Number 11 on the season. He now has 34 runs batted in. The Yankees creep closer. Well, one of the things about Aaron Judge, his second full season in the big leagues, he's making adjustments so much quicker than he had last year. It swung over a bunch of breaking balls his first two at bats. He does not do that here in the third. A spinner in the middle of the plate able to keep it fair. Yankees right back in it. 6 4 now. They bring up DD Gregorius. Hosmer lines it into right field. Down towards the corner. Jordan Lyles is coming around. And the Padres will walk it off tonight. In 13 innings, the Friar Faithful will go home happy.
You know what, Don, on the night that you celebrated 1998 team, also Kevin Towers, Rob Piccolo, how fitting of an ending for Eric Hosmer to come up with a huge hit, making the 1998 team proud. Big win for the Padres. And Simber a winner. Brebby takes the loss. A walk-off victory for the Padres. This is the ninth career walk-off hit for Eric Hosmer. Jordan Lyles, the pinch runner, came around to score. And the Padres walk it off in 13. Now you really got to go back to A.J. Ellis and that plate appearance he had, the pinch hitting opportunity, working a walk, setting up the stage for Eric Hosmer to come up big. This was a four hour and 16 minute battle tonight. First walk off hit for Eric Hosmer in a Padres uniform.